Hi guys, welcome to Tabitha's Healing Center and our healing session today. Um, so today we are going to be having a conversation with the other side. Um, there is a message that I am meant to deliver. Um, there is a question I am going to answer for someone. Um, I have some stones like we usually do, but I also just received a new deck. Um, so I have some additional stones for um, people that are meant to hear this reading today as well. Uh, we also always have some uh, message from angels and have an overall message from uh, God slash universe. So first of all, I have called um, all my archangels in like I usually do, but I've specifically called in um, AA Gabriel today uh, to help me with communication, um, opening up the throat chakra, clearing any blocks. Um, and it's interesting, uh, so also to help with like healing, um, but it's funny because this angel also assist with manifestation. And for some reason, I got a bunch of cards about manifestation today so, <laughs> for you guys. So that, that makes sense now. Okay, so um, if you haven't seen me before, this is how it's going to go down. I'm going to read us uh, some crystals. I'm going to deliver some messages. Um, and then I'm going to close out. I have lit a pink candle for today's healing session. I was guided that you guys needed some love, light, and healing, especially in the heart chakra. So, I have sent that over for you guys. Um, maybe after this session, I will do a little bit more um, selenite cleaning in the heart chakra before closing it out. Okay, so first uh, stone out is red jasper. Funny. So feel free to look these up before, during, or after my reading. <laughs> if something doesn't resonate with you, please feel free to look up the crystals instead because maybe that's why you were guided here today. Um, the second crystal was Apache Tear. So A P A C H E and then Tear. And pink opal or opal pink. Okay. So they want you to have an open mind before listening to the messages I'm about to deliver. Um, what they're asking you specifically is to look at both sides of the situation. You don't have to agree with what I'm about to say. But you need to at least try to understand it. It is really hard when we lose a loved one. We can no longer be with them in the physical. And for some reason, as humans, we long and crave and need the physical superficial. Sometimes we forget and we may have so much clouding and conditioning that we can't open up and hear the messages coming in a diff from a different realm. Um, so like I said, they're, they're, they're saying, look at it from um, both sides of the situation. You don't have to agree with what, I'm, what I just said, but um, just try to understand it at least because this is how I receive the, these messages. Um, I realize that I am always connected so I can talk to these people loved ones whenever I want. It's, it's it's very easy. They 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 come to me with messages. Um yeah so sorry. 
they they come to me with um with messages um but but prior to to or or during my unawakened stage i was also not able to um to connect that way and so that's why i'm here let's just leave it at that okay so as a soul i can be in several places at once So there is like, they want me to explain today, huh? Okay, so there is um, energy. And there's not barriers in time as we see it. So my soul can be in many places at once. So I hear that someone does not call on their loved one because they are worried that they're taking them away from their other siblings or their mom. But the truth is they can be with you and they can be with them. And they want you to call them don't don't do that to yourself it's already hard enough um they they send you they send you signs so watch out for signs dimes feathers i'm hearing a ladybug for someone a butterfly for someone else rainbows with somebody's um thing It's uh, the rainbows to say I'm happy. I'm happy. Um, I'm happy over here. So the next card I got is I'm learning over here. So like, uh, so I don't. Uh, so I've had very many lives. So each time I come to this planet or I do a life, whether it's on this planet or another one or in a different realm um i learn lessons so when you realize that we actually choose to come here to learn a lesson or we reincarnate to learn a lesson um yeah so I just have, uh, it's hard for me because some of your loved ones, um, they've reincarnated, but they can still be with you. So maybe they've reincarnated into an angel. Maybe now they're a guide. Um, I see like a grandma, like pushing, like nudging someone's shoulder. Um, so I have a, a spouse and he's saying that um, I love you, I know you miss me, but I'm learning another lesson over here. He's, he, he's with you at night, so I, I see you crying at night. And he gently strokes your hair and he kisses your cheek. You'll know who that's for. Whoever is meant to hear that will know that that's for them. Um, so anyways, a lot of our loved ones are learning um, lessons or they're in a state of review, like reviewing, right? And now they can watch you live your life and sometimes be like, oh, no, why are you going to do that? Um, 
or they can nudge you a certain way. Um, but we always have free will, so angels won't intervene unless they're unless they're asked. Uh, so they want to clear something up. They're not dead. Your loved ones um, want to say we're, we're not dead. Um, we're, we're, we are still so connected to you spiritually. If you think that that was going to just cut our, our bond and our love for each other, um, no, like I have such an overwhelming, I have more love for you now than I, than I was able to show you then. And, um, I'm, I'm not dead. I'm, I'm with you all the time. I, I see you and the kids, um, I'm there at the park. I still sit at the dinner table. I have my spot on the couch. It's life in review. The earth is our school. Um, so I just see that they're, they're learning a lot of lessons, right? And sometimes people go before us so that we can, so that we can learn a lesson, um, because they've taught us a lesson or we have to learn a lesson. I don't want to say they, they want to like stop you from doing something, but they may be able to guide you to a better life purpose by presenting opportunities to you. Maybe that's why a manifestation came up as well. Um, so they're saying there's no such thing as death. Um, they really want to, they really want to get that across that, um, you know, they're learning. Earth is our school. I'm not dead. There's no such thing as dead. We're all connected. We're, you can call on me. I, I can be there. I'm still there with you all the time. I'm, I am part of your inner peace. I'm part of your inner guidance. I'm part of your team. I'm part of your spiritual life path. Um, I've become one of your guides. Um, and for some of them, you know, they're with the rest of the family and, and once you live, you, you lived this life with them and now they're living the next life. And maybe once we're done here, that's what you're going towards. Maybe they've already started. Maybe everyone is, is waiting for you and please don't take that in like any kind of like, um, I need to like end my life to be with my family. I'm, I'm not saying it like that. I'm just saying that um, you've lived a beautiful life with them and you're still connected to them. And there's so much more beauty still where they are. And that they're with the rest of the family and they are safe and that they all watch and they help when they can and they want to know your, your diet, your divinely guided and protected and and they're sending healing they really are um so somebody needed to hear separately that there is no time where i am there's only time on earth probably because we get really hung up on it maybe it also has to go back with the the manifestation but um, they're they're saying there is no time over here. And once you guys realize that, like on the earthly plane, I was always so worried about this thing, time. And don't worry about that and just, and just live your life. So I just got this new deck and um, I pulled some additional cards to help with that reading. So I said, you know, the group of people that needed to hear those messages today from the other side. Um, what two stones can they use to help them? So I will give a pre-warning with these these um, stones. They are very powerful. So uh, please, I'm going to read the message just uh, so you can get a good idea of what these stones do. So this one here, Black 
phantom quartz. It's a channeling, transmitting, grounding stone. Black phantom quartz, kite, or kinite quartz, and thermal line. It is time for you to be very clear on what you wish to manifest. When you decide on what you want, draw up the energy of the crystal. The trans the trans channeling black phantom quartz will amplify what you need to transmit. Its special configuration means that it's a perfect tool to transmit or channel energy through its tip. Being in a cluster means it's harnessing the collective consciousness of all the crystals that are in the cluster, making it powerful combination. The black phantom, which gives you a gray appearance, will keep you grounded, coupled with the black kyanite and tourmaline. It is, t it is particularly helpful for those who are in service to humanity, allowing you to also channel and tap into all that is there. This is a very powerful card indeed. So while being clear on your intentions, you must also be prepared to receive what you ask for. Keep in mind, if you send out something full or potent energy, you will receive the same back. Be clear with your intentions. Ensure they are for the good of all. What you receive back can come in many forms. So be open to allowing this to form into your life and being. A wise person will not only accept what is given, but they will also act on it. It is one thing to receive, but is a very powerful gift, ultimately, to see what you do with it. Next one is manifestation. We have um, Epidite. Manifestation, Abundance, Spiritual, um, Atlantis, and Quartz. Epidite is a stone of abundance and will increase and attract whatever you are sending out to the world. For this reason, this stone is not for everyone. If you are emanating fear or negativity, Epidite will bring more reasons to be fearful and more negative towards you. In drawing this card, Epidite is asking you to look at what you are drawing into life at the present moment. Are you emanating joy and positivity? If you are, you will attract more joy and positivity into your life. Grinding with Epidite is therefore a very powerful tool. If you have a project or an idea, or you, if you have a project of an idea, what you want to att attract or increase, Epidite will help you remember. Pure thoughts are strong and, and are key. Atlantis is a plate is a place here to bring in balance and calm. It is repertoire to help you access past wisdom, which is always beneficial with manifestation. It is also a reminder about balance. Just like yin and yang symbols, remember what you think is negative can actually be a gift from what you can learn. Atlantis is mainly supreme time and beautiful stone to activate your kundalini and release any blockages that you may have when manifesting your desires. Keep in mind that sometimes we don't always get what we want when we are trying to manifest because we may block our own wants. This is where you grind may bring up for your, you instead. Always look for the reason why something manifests in your life. Everything is always as it should be. Wow, those are some powerful crystals. Hmm. So I'm just going to um, flip some angel whispers real quick, just because people seem to really like that. Um, so yeah, here we go. Anything else? Many. Angel guides, I invite you in at this time to deliver any other messages you have for the group of people watching this. Life never ends. Spirit endures all. The beauty in nature can be the answer to what you seek to reconnect today. Anything else? Do not focus on where you have been. Focus on where you are headed. 
Okay. Give me two more. Finding a feather is a sign your guardian angels are by your side. Peace is just a thought away. Okay, guys, so I want to close this out by saying do not be afraid. Believe, have faith in the universe, God, your angels, yourself, your ascended masters, and go in peace. Take care, guys. Love and light.